working. Hello and welcome to another lesson in Video Editing 101. This is Chapter 5, Lesson 2. Today we're going to be going over white balancing. Last lesson I talked a lot about what the differences between color correction and color grading is, and white balancing is one of the key components of color correction. But first, a fun fact. Did you know that about 25% of the film Jaws was shot from water level so audiences could better relate to treading water? I think that's an awesome cinematography tool. Of course, this is editing, but it's great to know about these different uh, techniques uh, that the rest of the, f the video world uses because it goes so much more in depth than just, oh, let's stick up a camera and film a shark coming out of the water or people running from the beach. They sat down and thought about it. How will the audience react to this and what will get the biggest audience uh, reaction and feeling? How can we get the audience to feel like they're in the movie, which is the goal of any filmmaker? And they came up with the idea of shooting at water level. And if you've ever seen Jaws, <laughs> you know, as, as cheesy as it is now with the effects and everything, it still gets your heart racing. So let's talk about white balance, though. So what is color temperature? I talked about it a bit last time. Um, color temperature uh, is just the color. It, it's the color of the light. Um, so you can have hot. Or, or warm colors or cool, cooler colors. So it goes from blue, which is Kelvin, which is 5200 50 um, Kelvin is the te temperature of blue sunlight. Sunlight is actually um, what you call white light. Um, and then on the other side of the spectrum, uh, you have uh, tungsten, which is 3200 and that is a little bit warmer. You can, you can of course go cooler and warmer than those. You can go past 5200 by adding blue uh, filters to your lights or to your camera um, or you can obviously go warmer than that but that is the typical scale for film filming. You either shoot in 5200 uh, which is typically what you do outside or 3200, uh, 5600 sorry, uh, or 3200 when you're inside. So let's talk about, uh, let's get into Final Cut Pro um, and see how we're going to fix this footage. So open up the supplied footage, it's titled White Balancing, easy for you to find, and bring it down into your timeline. Put it down there, it's going to ask you for your settings, just say yes. It's going to open it up and then make your canvas a little bit bigger so we can see it. But you also want to keep your viewer bigger because we are going to be seeing how you change the, when you add a, the three-way color corrector to that. Um, you want to have that can that viewer open um, pretty big so that you can edit um, easily. So in your video filters under the effects tab over here on the left side, under video filters, you will find a whole folder of color correction uh, effects. Uh, the one the, the ones that you will use pretty much any time you're editing a film or a video is color corrector three way. So you just drag and drop it to your footage, and you can double clip click your clip, uh, and it'll bring it up here into the viewer. And then go ahead and go to the th color corrector three way tab. So, th so there's a, an easy way to do this. Basically, there's this little pointer, uh, this select auto selector button down under each of these uh, three wheel color wheels. The blacks on the left, those are the darker colors or the, or the darker, darker, um, yeah, colors. And the mids is the mid range of how the brightness of your your video and the whites. That's the that's the light uh, light parts of your film. So it's not technically talking about the colors themselves, it's talking about the lightness and the darkness of the actual video itself. So since this footage is mostly white, um, we're going to use the white first. We're going to click this select auto color 
and then we're going to go over to the footage itself and we know that well you might know but I know that his pants are supposed to be white so whenever you're using this three-way color corrector and you want a white balance there should if the if there's something white in the frame you just click the whites that little color selector on the bottom left of the white wheel and then click the white thing in the video frame whatever it may be you can also do that um, with the mids if you have something a little bit um, uh, darker that is white in your frame so that's good and you can see once I did that it moved this little dot in the middle of the white color wheel to the left and that means it was adding yellow and a little bit of green to this footage to make it look nor more normal so as you can see back when it was here it was blue but when you when it moved over here it was more yellow you can do this manually of course you don't have to use the color selector you can move it manually and you can even it might it's not perfect so you can move it around to to where you think it is perfect so i don't think it at first it gave me what i thought was normal um, colors and so i'm going to move it up a little bit more towards the red and that looks a little bit better to me um, if you can see there you know the white in his legs maybe even maybe a bit too yellow so i'm going to bring it back um, and maybe bring it up a little bit um, and then you could even t touch the the mids a little bit and see how that that affects it so yeah definitely adding some warmth to it but adding warmth in this case is actually adding correctness to it so it's not necessarily adding uh, a grading effect if you want to go way out here you know you get that nice warm Miami feel um, to it but just bring it down a little bit and that is looking normal so that's how you use the three-way color corrector to color correct your footage but there's a better option and I mentioned it in the lesson previous to this one but in camera white balancing I urge you to always white balance if you're shooting it or tell the person that's shooting the video to white balance because once you add this three-way color corrector it's adding an effect that Final Cut Pro or whatever software you're using is going to have to render. Um, it's going to have to, to put it onto that video clip and if you add too many effects it makes it look unnatural and wonky things will happen uh, if you do that. So a better solution is to actually white balance when you're shooting your video. So that's it for this lesson. The activity is easy so I hope you do it. Um, it's just to balance the color uh, of the video, the supplied video clip using the three-way color corrector. So basically just do what I did on your own. Try not, you can, of course you can rewind this and watch it if you need help. Um, but just take that clip and make it look normal to you. And that's it. So if you have any uh, problems or if you need advice for a project you're working on, contact me. Or if you have any suggestions, please, as always, email me at ebener.udemy at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching, and I look forward to next lesson.